we are inside, let's say, a bit of a, um, a problem being that we're not a Title I school, so we don't get funds that majority of what the um, district does get. So we usually, for years, have been doing more with less, but with more and more budget cuts, it is more and more difficult to uh, do things that we normally used to do. Well, we're going to lose uh, two counselors, for sure. Um, one English teacher and the possibility of ten other teachers. I just think that it's unfortunate that we are um, hurting kids and the kids of the future. My, I have a two-year-old and um, I am very concerned about her and what sort of society she's going to live in if we're not educating people um, well and we're not just educating them, we're not valuing them enough to put money into something like education. The other thing that is going to affect eventually are our students because now the class sizes are going to be bigger and teachers aren't going to be able to give that individual attention that they were able to give before. And now they're just going to have more kids and it's going to be a lot harder to reach kids that are at risk. It's just going to affect generation to generation because if we're getting bad education right now, then jobs in the future are going to be at risk and it just it's just a cycle that will continue gradually. I think it's unfair that a judge ruled against a strike when the teachers were actually fighting for us because our class sizes are increasing and we're getting less teachers. And I think it's less attention, less attention, less specialized attention. Like our English classes, like for ninth and eleventh grade classes, are increasing in size, and that's like specialized attention that a lot of people need. And class sizes are already huge, and them doubling is just going to be it's ridiculous and it's not fair. And I think that and teachers having to deal with all extra kids. There are going to be potentially classes that are going to be cut because they don't have enough enrollment in them. We're not going to have as many supplies and resources as we'd like to have. We might take pay cuts. It, it, it sucks. I have a master's of credential. It takes you know, eight years of college to then be qualified to do this job to then just have that uh, taken away. Definitely uh, June 30th, I no longer have a job.